Hello guys and welcome back to iTechnology Reviews. In the part 2 of Acer H6510BD, the 3D Full HD Video Projector. So we're gonna talk about uh, the menu, the picture quality. What I'm showing you now, it's a screen in 3 meter diagonal. I could do 4 meter, but uh, for this review, we'll do in 3 meter. It's uh, projected to a high definition uh, screen, roll up screen, so uh, the picture is awesome. So, in the first part of the menu, you will see you have settings for the wall color. You could use a yellow wall color or blue or pink, five colors or green. Okay. You can choose to change the settings of the contrast, the brightness, but I did some modifications. I recommend to you to do these modifications because I, um, I calibrated to the white balance. Um, I uh, raise up a bit uh, the contrast, the color temperature. I sense the red is too, too high, so I... Um, I turned it to 19 from 100. So, if you change the user profile to other profiles and you want to change something to other profiles, the user profile will uh, change to default settings. So, uh, I'm gonna leave my profile untouched. The dynamic black. The dynamic black I recommend when you watch movies to turn it on. It will, uh, it will change your black and you, we will see the difference. The gamma, as you wish, you can uh, change the gamma according to your picture settings, according to your likes. Okay, in advanced, I change the gain to 19 from 100. Brilliant color, leave it on, because without brilliant color, look, the colors are weird. White picking to 3, noise reduction to 5. Just a little bit of noise reduction. In the green, 15 at the hue, at the saturation, 115 at the gain, 115. The blue, I leave it to 100 and uh, 5 and the gain at 100. I hope you can see. I hope it looks better now. Next. You have the projection, you can turn the image according to your needs. A spec ratio, I recommend to leave it to auto. You could do uh, 16 by 9, but leave it to auto, it's okay. Sharpness, from 25 as default, move it as 31. Let's see, move it as 31. HDMI color range turn from the auto settings to limited range you will see the difference in the quality of the movies screen capture you can capture the screen okay security you can put a password for example okay echo mode when you turn the echo mode on it will dim the brightness and it will turn the speed of the fan to low settings so uh, if you are annoyed by the sound of the fan you can uh, turn the echo mode on and you will earn extra lamp life so uh, you will go at uh, 7000 hours or uh, 5000 hours depending how you uh, work with your uh, video projector at high altitude mode. This is the mode that I was telling you about in the part one. I leave it on because the power of the fan is much higher. It's uh, approximately to maximum, and um, and will, you will cool your video projector more efficiently. Uh, the echo mode. Personally, if I watch a 3D movie, I leave it off the echo mode. If I watch a 2D movie, I leave it 
on because I don't need uh, that light. Remember, it has 3000 lux, so it's very, very bright, this video projector. Uh, okay, I'm gonna tell you another thing. If you set, for example, echo mode on, the brightness of the image is not too high the dynamic black personally for movies this is a fine option because the black remains black and not so gray it remains the color black so if you turn it on i think the pro video projector will will disable the echo mode but if you see the echo mode is still on this is i think this is a bug of the menu uh, now my echo mode is not on if you see i have 260 hours of lamp uh, i think if i turn and uh, i don't get bothered of the fan noise of the noise of the fan and uh, i turn the uh, high altitude mode on so for me it's not uh, inconvenient the next interesting thing this video projector has it's um if uh, my uh, laptop or what are you are using it's turning off the image and it senses by HDMI that the image uh, is not anymore, it will conserve your lamp power and it will um, dim the brightness of the screen to 30%. So, uh, it's very efficient. Okay, you have a speaker. Uh, personally, I use 5.1 with subwoofer sound system. In 3D mode, you can turn, you can turn on the signal but the video projector has a, a smart thing and it will uh, it will automatically sense when you play a 3d content a 3d video file if you see any projector will do this oh, almost any projector it will dim the image for um, for your uh, 3d content another interesting thing here it's you can set side by side if you have a side by side content half full you see top and bottom if you have frame sequential field it's an extra options uh, leave it on auto it will automatically detect this this 3d format it's a for for a 3d player if you, the video projector doesn't automatically sense what you play your uh, 3d content you can uh, you can manually give the option so another interesting thing is 24p in 3d mode the new glasses you can find it uh, even on ebay the new glasses 3d glasses use 144 so the image will look much smoother so your eyes will not hurt that bad um, if you are eyes if you have sensible uh, eyes for 3d content so now uh, i'm going to show you a movie so the picture quality is great the pixels you will not see them and if you want to see them you have to be uh, near the projection screen uh, the quality of the colors the, the acer technologies the color boost too uh, it really makes the difference in uh, cinematic colors so for three for viewing 3d content you have you have to install stereoscopic player this is better than power dvd because uh, personally i like it better for the quality of the image is much much smoother and uh, the picture quality is more great i think beside the power dvd 14 okay so in the remote set it up to 3d so i have here x-men days of future past and uh, we're gonna roll it okay um i set up the player side by side according to my image to my uh, video context sorry side by side you see there it says side by side okay and the viewing method is software page flipping once you did this 
you got to go to the settings you got to for the subtitles and here in the video processor you, you have to add for FFD show subtitles filter you can give it okay and now in the next to the clock you will have the subtitles filter and uh, if you want automatically please click this option if you want to give uh, the file to the, the to the decoder or the, to the filter click on the file and uh, give it the, the subtitle file so now you have 3d content on acer full hd 3d video projector let's give it a little more brightness it's a smooth image personally i like acer glasses 3d glasses we're gonna do a, another review on that glasses are specially made for dlp video projectors and the quality of the image it's amazing the xbox 306 lamp you have you can uh, connect it with uh, with the rgb cable the HDTV RGB cable in the video projector in one HDMI you can connect the 3d blu-ray player and in another HDMI the last one uh, you can connect your PC or your laptop and you can switch them by the remote and you don't have to switch the cables you don't have to, to switch the connectors and this makes it practical okay so now the game has loaded Let's see. The sound is uh, in the built-in, in the built-in speaker. The colors I liked it better on uh, GTI 5. The colors are more bright, are more uh, clearly. The quality of the image is more clearly. But in Tom Clancy's, it's okay. I think. Um, if you want a better quality, you can plug in your uh, Xbox One. It's more the colors and the picture quality it's more efficient so this is the review of the 3d video projector full hd 3d video projector from acer if you have questions or comments um, please comment below thanks for watching and if you liked the review please subscribe see you